The story of Amazing Grace is closely related to the story of its creator, John Newton, who underwent an incredible spiritual journey from vile sinner to respected priest. Though Amazing Grace today is closely linked to the African-American community, the author's journey involved being a slave, then being a slave trader, converting to Christ Christianity, and then finally becoming an abolitionist. John was only seven years old when his staunchly religious Puritan mother died. His father was a sea captain and took him out to sea when he was only 11 years old. During his formative years, he spent much time with unruly drunken sailors and he picked up a lot of their bad habits and language. He later described his younger self with these words, How industrious is Satan served! I was formerly one of his active under-tempters, and had my influence been equal to my wishes, I would have carried all the human race with me. A common drunkard or profligate is a petty sinner to what I was. He was later conscripted into the British Navy. He found this life distasteful, and he tried to desert, but then he was caught and whipped eight dozen times. While he was serving on another ship, he got along so poorly with the crew that they left him on the coast of West Africa, and he became a slave. He was later rescued, however, by another sea captain at the request of his father. And as he was on his way home, however, from that harrowing experience, his ship was caught in a terrible storm. John, in fear for his life, prayed to God to save him. After his prayer, some of the cargo in the ship shifted in exactly the right way to plug up the hole in his ship so that they could get safely to shore. This started him on a journey toward Christianity, though it did not happen all at once. He said, I cannot consider myself to have been a believer in the full sense of the word until a considerable time afterward. He continued as a sailor for some time until suffering a stroke in 1754. Ten years later, he became an Anglican priest and took the, to the business of writing his own hymns to accompany his services. Amazing Grace was one of the 280 hymns he wrote, and it didn't come about until about 1772. He wrote it for a New Year's Day service for the year 1773. But it's not clear if there was any music accompanying it or whether it was simply a chant. We first saw it printed in Only Hymns in 1779. And though it became kind of obscure in England, it grew in popularity in the United States. It was the favorite hymn of Methodist and Baptist preachers during the Second Great Awakening in the United States in the 19th century. In 1788, he published a pamphlet called Thoughts on the Slave Trade that shed light on the horrible conditions on slave ships that he had seen firsthand. In his pamphlet, he describes his change of heart. It will always be a subject of humiliating reflection to me that I was once an active instrument in a business at which my heart now shudders. In the year of John's death, 1807, the English government outlawed slavery in Great Britain. If God showed such grace to a person who had literally trafficked in other human beings, he can now show grace to you too. We should hope every day that we don't get what we actually deserve, but that we can tap into the grace that our Savior is so willing to give us. Blind but 
but now I see it was grace that taught my heart to fear grace my fears relieved how precious Shining as the sun 